I was introduced to this story through uh, Stormy Elaine. She, she tagged me and Winston in it. And this shit made me sick to my fucking stomach. Patrick Rose, who is a former head of Boston's police union, faces a total of 33 charges in connection with the uh and abuse of six children over periods of time beginning in the 1990s. And he has recently pled guilty. Now, I say that because he initially pled it not guilty and maintained his innocence, but changed his, uh, his plea during an appearance in the Suffolk uh, Superior Court. He then pled guilty to 21 counts of child assault and of actual assault over a 27-year period and was sentenced to getting this. You ready for the sentence, Dwayne? Hit it. 10 to 13 years in prison plus 10 years probation following his release. Before I go any further. Sounds about white. Sounds about white. Here's a statement. I saw. Okay, did I put that in here? Uh... No, I didn't upload it here. Okay. I'm going to put this. I, th I thought I put this asset in here because I, I read something. So the even more effed up part of this is they knew. Oh, yeah. I, I read this story. They, they like took him off like active duty or whatever, but For allowed a moment. Him... No, no, no. This is like back. In like the 90s. So yeah. here is this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, Rose he has been allowed, allowed to keep his badge for 20 years after top officials determined he yeah. more than likely abused a child in 95. And despite that finding, Rose remained on patrol in Dorchester where he interacted with children and other assault victims and eventually ascended to the presidency of the Boston Police Patrolman's Association. The revelation was published in the Globe Investigation in 2021 and it underscored the secrecy of the nation's oldest police department, which has a history of protecting officers accused of misconduct. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, like, I'm I'm not one of the people that says the, the second something like this comes out that the DOJ needs to go in and investigate the entire department, the DOJ needs to investigate this entire department. They, they, because they obviously Something is wrong. And it's from the top all the way to the bottom. Period. It, it's, 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 I don't even want to say it's baffling because people get mad when people say all cops are bastards. Then you'll hear somebody in law enforcement or somebody sucking law enforcement cock saying, well, it's only a few bad apples, a whole entire fucking department. Let one known assaulter, I'm not saying the word because of YouTube, let one known assaulter stay working around the type of people he's assaulted for over almost 30 years, for almost 30 years. And then was like, yeah, we, we, he might have done it. That's just that one. And that department has a history of this. Yeah, and it wasn't that he might have done it. It was he probably did it. He like probably they, they were they were pretty sure that he did it. He probably you know he probably did it. And and it's it's and I mean and I mean that that also goes to one of the problems that they have with law enforcement is moving people around departments, right? Mm -hmm. When you have something happen in one, unless you're like convicted. You can go get a job at another police department. Yeah. Happens all the time. All the time. It happens all the time. And there's like, there needs to be a national system. Like It is registry. like priests who are, it like, is literally like priests who are transferred to different parishes. Yeah. Like they, they need to have some sort of database where they're like, hey, these are all the motherfuckers who are fucking up. Don't hire them. Now, people are saying in the chat, and I, I saw, again, I'm, I'm trying to m maneuver a bunch of pieces that you know you guys say a bunch of stuff about him how he's being treated in jail let me let you in on a secret in case you didn't know he is a cop guess where he's at automatically he's in protective custody in solitary confinement yep All, he's, out the gate yeah he he's he's not gonna get any nothing is gonna happen to him while he's, nothing. he's in, in there he's he's going unless he does something to himself or somebody with a lot of money but because, again, the police department has been doing this for decades, which means 
other officers have been sentenced. Yep. And they take he's he he's gonna go to a facility where they house other officers, probably. Yeah. No, he California Joe, he's absolutely not going in Gen Pop. Absolutely not. Yeah, no, hell no, he's not going to Gen Pop. Nope. They they will never ever ever put anyone from law enforcement in Gen Pop just on the slight chance that they might run into somebody that they that they put away. That they put away. They will ne- you will never see one. So we want to know at your th- at most they will put them in an entire wing where it's all convicted law like former law enforcement. Yes, that's, they'll do that. That's that's the closest to Gen Pop you will get. Yeah, that's what they will do. Uh, they won't, yeah. So, like I said, we want to know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Uh, please keep it civil, all that good stuff. Blurs in the Hood every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. All full episodes exclusively available on Twitch. www.twitch.tv slash B-L-E-R-D-S, the letter N-T-H-E-H-O-O-D. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.